Hi everyone, you're welcome to Now Creative World. My name is Avoy Joko Naomi and today we'll be learning how to make the box bridge turban or gilly. The box bridge turban. The materials we'll be needing are your scuba fabric, the office paint, your scissors, needle and thread as well as measuring tape. But the next thing I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take my measuring tape and cut my and cut my fabric so the measurement i'll be needing here is 60 inches long and two inches wide in four places 60 inches long and two inches wide in four places so if you want to increase the length of your own it's fine you can make it 90 inches depending on how long you want the the braid to be so this is 60 inches long and two inches wide in four places so this is the first one the second one the third one and the fourth one so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to take them one after the other and from one end i'm going to use my pins to hold it down this way i will just fold into two equal half and use my pins to hold it down so the next thing we'll be doing now is how to position it before we start braiding so this is how i'm going to position it so the first one is going to come directly opposite me this way and the other one is going to be this way close to me or close to my hand now the next thing i'm going to do is that this other one the third one is going to come this way can you see so it's going to come on top this one and under this one so this is it can you see just wash carefully you will get it so the next one now, which is the last one, is going to come from this way and it's going to be on top this one and uh, under this one. So can you see it now? At the end of the day, we have this. So the next thing I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take my hands. This is it. This is the first one. This is the second one. So the third one was on the on top this one and under this one why the fourth wall and on, on top this one and under this one so the next thing i'm going to do now is that i'm going to take all the edges like this one two this is the second one three and the fourth one like this so now i'm going to use my needle and my thread to tack it down like this so i'll take my needle and my thread now and i will tack it down and after tacking with my needle and my thread I will cut at the excess thread and I will have this. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to remove all the pins I used here. I'll move the pins. I'll remove the, all the pins. I'll move the pins. Okay, so after removing the pins, this is what I will have at the back. Then I will now turn it like this. Can you see? I will turn it to the other side. This is the, where we started from. So I'll just turn it now. And this is what I will have. So the next thing I will do now is that I will just use my hand to arrange it. I will use my hand to arrange it. And I will pull it. I will just pull. But not too hard, please. Okay. So this is it now, after arranging, I will have this. Can you see? So the next thing I'll be doing now is that, okay. So at the end of the day, I will have 
one i will have this one at the damp part right up and left so this is how we are going to work with it so now the next thing i will do now is that i will take the one at my the downside i will take it upward this way can you see so when i take it upward like this this one the one at the right is the nearest or is the one that is closer to to this one i just took this way now so this one at the right i will take it to the left you may want to write down so you don't forget or so you become used to it when you are practicing so this one will go to the left and this one upward will come to my down side i'll bring it down And this one at the damp part, my left hand side, will then come to my right hand side. But this time around, I'm going to take the hedge this way and I'll pass it through this, this one that is here. I'll pass it through this way. This, like this. And I'll drag. Can you see? So after dragging, this is what I will have. I will then arrange it properly. And this is it. So the next thing I will do now is that I would then take this one upward. You now the first time we started, we started from the damp side. So this time I ran, it, I would then start from our the next step is to take this one from the uh from my right hand side upward right hand side upward i'll bring it downward to my right hand side downward was up i bring it i brought it down and then after this one at the damp part my right hand side i will take it to my left hand side This is it, and this at the damp part of my left hand side, I will take it upward. And lastly, I will take this one on my left hand side upward, the one at the upside of my left hand side. I will then bring it this way and pass it through this way. So this is it. So this is for the second step. So if you've done this successfully, you are good to go. It's just to repeat what we what we did from the beginning. This one will come up this way you know when we started from the first step this one was done we took it upward then we brought this one to the left and this to the down i'm repeating the first step again for us to see this, this is the first step this done and we brought it this way you can you can pause the video or take it back for you to see this is the first step that we br brought it this way So this is it. I will arrange. So for the second step, step this one is now upward now. I will then bring it down. This one will go to the left side. This one will come go upward to my left hand side upward. And this will come to my right hand side upward and I will take it through 
this one here and this is for the second step so this is how you just continue till you get your desired length or you have until you exhaust all the all the fabric this is it this is how you continue till all the fabric is exhausted so we've done the first step and the second step this is how you just continue you just continue like that all right so i've ex almost exhausted my 60 inches i started with from the beginning so now i'm going to add extra 30 inches to it so i've added extra 30 inches to this one by just using my needle and my thread to sew it down you can use your sewing machine as well so this is what i did i'll just place it like this can you see i'll place it like this then i'll use my needle and my thread to sew it down from year to year and after sewing now we have this can you see you can use your sewing machine i just use my hand needle to sew so this is it now i'll just cut out some excesses here and then i'll continue so when i turn like this the sewing will be inside so i'll continue with my uh with my weaving now or my braiding i'll just continue with just the way we started from the beginning i'll continue like that now and then i'll throw us the finished look all right so we are done can you see it now i successfully uh braid it to the hand the next thing i'm going to do now is that the same way i picked the four from the beginning i'm going to pick this four now one two three and four um and i will be using my needle and my thread to tack it down so i'll use my needle and my thread now And after tacky how we have this so the next thing i will do now is that i will take my my fabric again and i will measure at 10 inches long by 5 inches wide 10 inches long by 5 inches wide this is 2.2 the reason is that after cutting what i did was i folded into two equal half it's now 2.5 then after i stitch from i started stitching from this way to this other side and i left here open can you see it now so i will have that in two places five inches by ten inches in two places so this is the first one and this is the second one so now i've stitched my own starting from here i turned into two i folded into two right there so it's now 2.5 by 10 inches so after stitching now i will now open I will now turn it to the other side, to the neat side or to the right side now. I will do that for the other one as well. And after turning to the right side, I will have this. So the next thing I will do now is that I will be attaching this to this for the handle that I will be using to tie at the back. So this is it now. I will take this side that is open, the other side is closed. And I will bring it this way. And I will take it through this okay so the next thing i'll do now is that i will just fold here a bit and then i'll bring my needle and my thread to tack it down neatly so i'll just use my needle and my thread to pick it that's why you need a mashy color of thread for this so that at the end of the day the thread will not be too visible so i will just Continue like this till I get to the other side neatly. So when I'm done with this, I will also attach this to this this one to this other side as well. So this is it now. I successfully attached the handle to both sides. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'll be placing it on the toban cap and I'll tie at the back. And this is my toban cap now. So I'll place it on it this way. Can you see? And then after, I'll turn to the back. I'll turn to the back this way. Can you see it now? And I'll use the handle to tie. So after tying, like, I'll tuck this in, then turn to the back and arrange it properly. Can you see it now? This is how it looks. 
can you see how beautiful it looks this is it so this is it this is the finished look of the box bread top bag once again you're watching our creative world online training and my name is Apple Juku Naomi thanks for watching